This CBS Sunday. You know why Dahlia said what she said, right? Look, she's out for revenge, Katie. She feels guilty that she wasn't around when her sister died, so she's lashing out at me. Oh, come on, will you please just say something? What do you want to hear, Simon? It's not what I want to hear, Katie. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that you trust me. <sighs> I gotta go get ready. Tonight is the biggest night for me ever, professionally. Well, since the Endicott Awards. That party's been thrown by a woman who accused me of murder and you're still gonna go? Listen, Katie, if you go to that party... What? Too... I'm choosing her over you? What if I'm choosing me over both of you tonight? It's my night. All right, I know it is, okay? And you deserve it. But I also deserve an answer. Do you believe me? Do you believe Dahlia? You better tell me, Katie, because believe me, I mean, I think our future depends on it. Okay, put yourself in my position for a second. I have a husband who has lived by his wits and off his women his entire life. And you've made a mess of things. But that's okay. I can handle that. I've made a few messes of my own. It's just, right now, I don't understand any where any of this is coming from. All of a sudden, you're keeping things secret. And you're telling little white lies. And you're covering your tracks. I, I don't even know what to believe anymore. And you have the audacity to stand there and issue me an ultimatum? Who are you? Would you have a seat? Something about being buried alive really rubs me the wrong way. Well, lucky for you, it wasn't a permanent arrangement. Watch my back. I'm being followed. Wow. Quick thinking. Yeah. Well, for a minute there, I was afraid you hadn't taken that seriously. Uh, on the contrary. Even though I instructed the police car to leave the graveyard, my men and I were close by at all times. We watched you being attacked and then disarmed and then stuffed into that coffin. You saw that, did you? I'm glad it was so entertaining for you. Uh, your attackers are being pursued as we speak. I, we're going to find them. I'm good. I want to talk to them when you do. In the meantime, you mind if I have a little chat with Hilda Schmidt? Be my guest. I'm going to make this short and sweet, Hilda. I know that you've been trailing me ever since I landed in Brussels, but when did this all start? Oakdale? You've been following me since Oakdale? Ah, silent type. You know, I'll just check out the stamp on your passport, but you know what? I really don't even have to do that. Because I know your story. You've made it quite clear that your job is protecting Dr. Weston, but my question is, why? Why would you want to cover for a guy who obviously doesn't give a damn about you? We all have a right to privacy. She talks. Hallelujah. How long you been following me? Yes, I was in Oakdale. Why? One of Doctor's subjects went missing, and he wanted to see that she was not going to disrupt his research. Subject? As an experimental subject? This is Rose D'Angelo we're talking about, isn't it? I was dispatched to stop all intruders. Yeah, stop them dead. Where's Weston? Where is he keeping the other two? Mm. <laughs> Round two, where Ms. Walsh eats her face cream. Listen. Hey. Did you forget something from before? Oh, you mean when we were talking about how much missed each other? I, I think... I don't think I quite got my point across, but if you let me in, I think no, I can do a better job this really time. Well, idea, if I get I out just... of line, if I get out of line, you can always throw me out again. I don't quite remember things that way, oh, but... I see. You must be forgetting about the part where you said, uh, walk out of that door and promise to never come back again. Mm. Must have slipped my mind. Mm. It's one of the things about getting all that's good. You know, people tell you horrible things, but then you forget them. <laughs> Well, you still got the same old knack for putting the guy back in his place, so at least you got that going for you. Five minutes. Ten for good behavior. You don't know from good behavior. I'll do my best. All right. See, you still got the rose I gave you. Thought you would have plucked off all the petals by oh, now. Oh, come on, me? No, I would never heard anything from the plant kingdom. Defenseless. So beautiful. It's starting to open up. Yeah. 
She looks beautiful. Let's hope she keeps it up. Look. Closer the better. Agent Will. Commander Mom does not think that Super Agent Paul will make it to the store in time to pick up one's favorite chocolate chip cookies. So guess what, dude? You're getting homemade. Humongous ones. Over and out. Okie dokie. busy trying to make yourself indispensable, I have a lead on the man who helped you dispose of Carly and the others. Let's get to work. step very very nice now is there tomfoolery coming up yes i th yes there it is tomfoolery my oh my who would know they have arthritis celebrex celebrates the olympic spirit in all of us just one celebrex can relieve the pain inflammation and stiffness of osteoarthritis for 24 hours celebrex should not be taken if you've had aspirin sensitive asthma or allergic reactions to aspirin or other arthritis medicines or certain drugs called sulfonamides in rare cases, serious stomach problems, such as bleeding, can occur without warning. Tell your doctor if you have kidney or liver problems. And look at the score. Ask your doctor about Celebrex, official supporter of the 2002 U.S. Olympic team. Bathroom specialist, bring it on. Soap scum's harder to get rid of than a bad boyfriend. Just dump the boyfriend. And get the specialist. Tylex Soap Scum Remover Clean Soap Scum better than scrubbing bubbles. Just wipe, and that scum is gone. Tylex, the bathroom specialist. Oh, yeah, going along, feeling fine when it hits you. Diarrhea. Alone, it's bad. But with gas and cramps, too, you've got big trouble. Good thing there's Imodium Advanced Caplets, the only one that combines two medicines to stop diarrhea, cramps, and gas all at once. In no time, you'll feel A-OK -okay again. Imodium Advanced Caplets. Whew, what a relief. for your pet 48 hours tonight what happens when daddy's little girl are you shutting down the american studies department not yet but it's a good idea becomes daddy's biggest headache who are you calling freak? and on new max cbs sunday craig you can leave on your own or you can wait for the police escort it's up to you this lead concerns a dr weston i don't or... know him no of course not Maybe James referred to him by another name. T. Owens? W. Stone? You are wasting my time. You see, Weston's an anagram, Barbara. Scrambled letters which somehow spell the doctor's real name. I have it on very good authority that... If your authorities are of the same breed as you, then you should not be taking too much stock in what they have to say, Craig. My authority is Hal Munson. Hal told you this? Well, he came up with the anagram. John Dixon's doing some follow-up on it. Calm yourself. 
verify everything I'm saying, or you can stop wasting my time and tell me what the man's name is. Towns? Barbara? What will it take for you to care enough about your victims that you will risk saving their lives? Now, welcome back, boys. Say hello to Hilda here. How much is she paying you, by the way? What? What's that? <laughs> they don't seem to want to talk either. What is it with you people? You should really reconsider. You help me find Emily Stewart, Carly Tenney, and the rest of Dr. Weston's prisoners. You may be just saving yourself. Dr. Weston has no prisoners. He's a revolutionary scientist. His patients are privileged to be part of his groundbreaking research. Oh, yeah? What ground is he breaking? Do your worst. I will never betray him. Oh, that's just great. You stick with Dr. Boyfriend. I'm charging her on three counts of conspiracy to kidnap, aiding and abetting a kidnapping, and on a more personal note, attempted murder. I'll get the ball rolling on her extradition to the States. I'll do what I can to assist. Once we're finished with her locally, we'll act globally. Yes? Hmm. And that's just for starters. I hear prison and I should feel fear? Hardly. I've been there. I survived. I doubt you've done time in an American federal penitentiary for assisting a serial murderer. I don't know what you're talking about. No? I bet these graves could tell me everything I need to know. Hmm? We'll exhume a few graves, look at the bodies, and uh, they'll do the talking for me. So, hey, you guys want to help me out with that before you leave? No? Huh? What's that? Get them out of here. Allez. Allez! No, wait, wait, wait a second. That, that one, stop that one right there. Stop. Uh, uh, stop. Wait. You mind if I borrow his, his sweater, his hat, and jacket, everything? Thanks. You have something specific in mind yeah, well, for the gravedigger's clothing? I'm going to hang out here for a few minutes longer, if you don't mind, with your permission, of course. Now, may I know why? Something big is going down here, Dupre. I want to be here. Yeah, I'd rest easier with you safe in a hotel room in town. <laughs> Hilda wanted me in that coffin because they're expecting another delivery, and when it shows, I can trace it back to the spa. Hopefully, I'll be able to find the two missing women before daybreak. Well, what if this uh, delivery isn't coming from the spa? That's a chance I'll have to take. Look, I know I'm, I'm overstepping my jurisdiction. To say the very least? No. Well, then I'm relieving you of all responsibility. Hmm? Forget you ever saw me here, because there's no way in hell I'm backing out now. Hey, bro. Hey. hey. This looks great. Yeah. yeah, it does. I just, uh, doesn't run too late. All right. Fine. Why? Because when the original Mr. Late Night starts talking about turning in early, something's up. Nothing's up. And no, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, <laughs> big media event like this has got to be great for business, am I right? Oh, yes, you certainly are. Oh, you'll be happy to know that Vivian has agreed to stay on and help with the cleanup tonight. And Vivian is new bartender. Really? Yes, yes. Yes, Isaac hired Vivian, uh, you know, to shut me up because he felt like I was hounding him too much about really not begging Bonnie to stay. And so he hired Vivian, and now here I am, uh, supposed to believe that he's very happy, that he's ready to move on with his life, he's over Bonnie, and he doesn't care that he drove the poor girl all the way to Scotland. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor darling, we both know that he's just so in love, he doesn't know what to do with himself. Do you want to stop with the mind reading? Yeah, why? I'm so good at it. <laughs> Look, the precious. Oh, he uh, just doesn't know he misses Bonnie so much, he doesn't know what to do. Well. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> My brother's too hard-headed to ever admit that he's in love. Hello. Hi. Hey. How is everyone tonight? Oh, fine. How are you? Well, the only thing that could make me happier is a bigger crowd, but mm -hmm. I have no doubt that we'll make enough noise for Katie's butt-busting celebration. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> painful. Well, no pain, no gain. Listen, I want everyone at Java Underground to party right along with us. Okay. The champagne is on me. I want tonight to be... Unforgettable? <laughs> Precisely. Oakdale will be buzzing about this night for years to come. Excuse me. Hi. Hey. Dahlia Ventura. Good to meet you. I just wanted to make sure that you're ready to capture that very special moment that we spoke about earlier. And uh, when is the special moment going to be, exactly? 
Well, you'll know it when you see it. I could use a little more to go on than that. Don't worry. It will be unmistakably dramatic, I promise. One might even say explosive. I adore you. And I do believe in you. And you are mine, and I am yours till the end of time. Please commit that to memory. It's just right now, I'm a little bit... No, you know what? Scratch that. I am furious. I am being forced to digest the fact that your dead wife, Monique, just happens to be Dahlia's dead sister. And no one's denying the fact that there are some pretty weird circumstances surrounding her death. So, I'm gonna go smile for the cameras and meet my backers and greet my fans. Listen, Dahlia just stood here. Dahlia stood here and admitted that she tricked you into this entire thing to save you from your, from your, from your wife-killing husband. She also said that she would back out of this whole thing after tonight. Oh. I'll buy her out of her contract and you and I will go back to feathering her little nest. Really? Really? Yeah, really. That is what I want. It's what I need. But I also need this video. You know how much sweat and energy I put into it. I know you have. So I'm not going to boycott my own release party. I won't do it. Just because Dahlia's no angel, who, who cares? So what? Who is? I want tonight. I want people whispering about me for all the right reasons. I want champagne and photographers and most of all, I want you there by my side. Please just say you'll come with me tonight. Suit yourself. I'll go alone. You know, Simon, I am learning so many things about you. Things I wish I'd never known. haven't tried extra strength Rolaids, you're in for a new experience. It's fruity, creamy, smooth. A new test proof extra strength Rolaids has the taste even Tums can't beat. Mm. And it's fast. Extra strength Rolaids quickly neutralizes 21% more stomach acid than Tums EX. Ah. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Rolaids spells relief with a taste that can't be beat. So we're not talking some deep spiritual cleansing, but almost. That's how deep this stuff goes. St. Ives Apricot Scrub. St. Ives is the only one with soothing Swiss botanicals plus 100% natural exfoliants. Those little scrubbers that slough off dull, dead skin so I get smoother, healthier, brighter skin. Maybe this is deep spiritual cleansing. And now for daily cleansing, try new St. Ives Foaming Apricot Cleanser for radiant skin every day. Brilliant! If I had a man like Hefty, if I had a man like Hefty, he'd always be coming up with new ways to impress me. Introducing Hefty the Gripper, the first kitchen bag with a stretch and grip top so it hugs the can and won't slip. Oh, and he'd know how to hold on tight. Then he wouldn't cave under pressure. Nothing's made like the Gripper. It stretches, grips, and stays put so it can take it like a man. And when I'm done with him, ciao, baby. Bye-bye. So long. The Gripper, new from Hefty, the strong, dependable type. In my 30s, I tried everything for my headaches. Then I discovered Bear Extra Strength, and the pain went away. In my 40s, I started getting bad back pain, and Bear came through again. Now I have arthritis in my knees, and I still depend on Bear Extra Strength. Bear goes to work right at the site of pain and inflammation. Nothing works better. For relief, I can always count on. There's still no better choice than Bear, and regular strength aspirin is the only pain reliever that can help save your life. Bear, take it for pain, take it for life. How can a cereal so simple taste so good? Life is full of surprises. You want an ordinary spray cleaner or one with more powerful giddy up? New 409 starts working with just one spray before you even wipe. Fantastic takes three, four, five, pretty ordinary. New Formula 409. One spray and this grease is on its way. 
Mrs. Hughes. Oh, call me Nancy, please. Well, after your performance at the talent show, I have to resist the urge not to call you Aretha. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere, Isaac. Ah, thank you. I'm glad you could join us for the party. It looks like fun, but truly, I just stopped by to return a book. So if you will point me in the direction of Bonnie McKechnie, I will be right out of your way. Bonnie's direction? <laughs> well, which way Scotland? That's a surprise. Is she visiting her father? To be quite honest with you, I'm not sure what Bonnie's up to these days. Hi, Zeus. Oh, Lucy, how nice to see you. How are you, dear? Oh, I'm great. Uh, I'm so glad you could come. Well, actually, I'm well, just... I've got to run, so you'll have fun. <laughs> have you met the guys from her video? No. They're firefighters who came all the way from you. This is Lee. How do you this do? is Jeff, and this is Daniel. Oh, I'm so pleased to meet all of you. I'm Nancy Hughes. And very nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Likewise. Can we get some champagne or something here? Oh, well, actually, she was saying that Oh, no, 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 nonsense. A little champagne never hurt anyone. <laughs> That's dead thorn to help ourselves, gentlemen. Please tell me that you have seen our guest of honor and her husband around here tonight. No, I haven't, but try Scotland. It's a very popular destination. Hey. Hey, hey how are you? Gorgeous. Well, thank you, Daniel. That's just because you usually see me in my workout clothes. Mm. Where are the other guys? Uh, I don't know. He's flirting with all the girls. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Okay. All right, everyone. Let's welcome our guest of honor, Katie Frazier. <laughs> we look terrific. Thank you, sir. Doesn't she? Listen, I want to introduce you to uh, one of our producers, Herb Wolfson. Oh, he was just over here. Oh. He's right over there, the one with the blue tie. Okay. Herb is going to be one of the major investors in your follow-up video. My what? I don't have a follow-up video. You do now. Congratulations, Katie, on your video. Oh, thank you so much. Did you get a chance to see it? Oh, yes, of course. One could get a full cardiovascular workout just looking at these marvelous oh, men who are with you. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go over here. You look great. Uh, thank you. I just want to say that I'm really glad that you're here. What, you thought I wouldn't make it to my own party? Well, after the things that were said earlier, I... I didn't want to upset you, but I know that I did. What were your intentions, Dahlia? Listen, I just really loved my sister very much, and it just drives me crazy. You know what? I'm not going there tonight. I am here to have a good time, to work, and to greet my fans. You know what? You're right, and I just wanted to apologize to you and to Simon. Where is he? He's not here tonight, thanks to you. Simon will be here, all right. We'll make sure of that. Yeah, hello. This is a time for celebration, not for making phone calls. Katie? <laughs> Look, sweetie, if you need a doormat for that charming little cottage of yours, I'll be happy to buy it for you. But listen, I don't want you to volunteer for the job. But listen, you're a star. This is your night to shine. <laughs> no, please, just forget about Simon. Cut him loose. He made it perfectly clear that that's exactly what he's doing to you. That's how it all begins. Katie. Katie, can you hear me? Ka Always like roses. By far the most beautiful flower. In fact, they're so desirable that uh, they have to grow thorns just so people will leave them in peace. But, of course, if you really, truly rose, Few little thorns aren't gonna keep you away. Sad about flowers, though. You know, they bloom so fast. The beauty fades and the petals fall off, and you're left with nothing but a mess. Because nothing lasts forever. The important stuff does. Maybe you're right. feel like me on the inside, you know? I can see myself shopping for bikinis and working out and kicking up my heels on a Saturday night with Missy and my future and the years of my life. And when they reverse this thing, you're gonna be just... What are you talking about? What if they can't? 
What if they can't fix it? I gotta have a plan. Some what kind of plan? You talking? I, I gotta uh, maybe cover up all my mirrors. Never look at my reflection again. Never ever look at Lily anymore. Go to a place where nobody knew me before, and oh, that'll keep my mind off my hardening arteries. Wouldn't well, it? you said you still feel like the same old Rose on the inside, right? Like nothing's changed. Even the way you feel about me. Especially that. You know the kicker. I might love you a million times more than I did before, but I can't. It doesn't matter, you see, because on the outside, I am like a hundred years older than you. No, is that what you think? Is that really what you see, Rose? What do you see? I, I, I see you. Not an age or a condition, just you. A beautiful, sensitive, terrified woman. The, the woman who makes me laugh until my sides hurt. The, the, the woman who was my guardian angel, my, my lucky charm. The woman I'm dying to put my arms around and take to bed and hold Wait, you. Wait, do you say anything else? You're okay, gonna okay, have to all right. Know. I'll just stand here. I'll just stand here, and you can look at me. Look me in the eye. You look me in the eye, and you tell me what you see. I don't see anything. Hmm. You must be too far away. The whole world is going to see you the way I do. Give it some time. Who's that? That would be the pizza. Pizza? I ordered it on the way over here. Pizza? Pizza? You got me pizza? Oh, you must have read my mind. I haven't had it in months. And... <gasps> Perfect timing. Did you give me anchovies? I yes, love anchovies. <laughs> Maybe we do belong together. Now, who's buying tonight? <laughs> you or your mom? If my son were not upstairs, I'd tell you what. I would find a thousand and one things to do with this rolling pin. Craig Montgomery, the man who derailed my life, tells me that I should care about my victims. You find someone else to help you with your anagram. I wouldn't help you avoid a train wreck. How about doing it because you owe it I to... I owe you pain and suffering, Craig. No, we live together. You're all paid up on that. How about doing it because you owe it to the children of the women you've disposed of? Don't you preach to me. I feel worse about those children than you could possibly imagine. Barbara! You sound almost noble. But we know better, don't we? You won't help me figure out Weston's name because you want Weston to continue what he's doing. Hmm? Here you are, all cozy and comfy and Hal's home sweet home. Emily's out of sight and out of mind. And that's what you want anyway, isn't it? For Emily to be gone permanently. Where is Rene? Can't you speak? Ah, huh? simple minded. Those are the papers and the money for your boss. Be careful with it. Get the warm food. Light as a feather. Good thing. Making back. Keep digging, Einstein. We'll be back.
How do I take care of my skin? Well, I get this oatmeal and milk treatment. How do I really take care of my skin? Olay Daily Facials. Great skin is easier than ever. You'll love how Daily Facials cleanses, tones, exfoliates, conditions. All the benefits of serious skin care just by washing your face. Sometimes I get a mud pack too. Olay Daily Facials. Love the skin you're in. <laughs> cough waking you up in the middle of the night? No kidding. You got a cough medicine you take every four hours. Get a new all-night cough medicine. Introducing new NyQuil cough. The new all-night coughing, 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 so you can sleep cough medicine from the makers of NyQuil. Here, kitty. <coughs> Think your hair is healthy? Think again. There are six symptoms of unhealthy hair, and one conditioner treats them all. Pantene Pro-V Complete Therapy Conditioner. With its pro-vitamin formula, weak hair becomes strong. Dull hair, shiny. Treat all six symptoms for healthier hair. Can your conditioner do all that? Pantene Pro-V Complete Therapy Conditioner. So healthy, you'll love your hair. Grab it. Pledge, grab it, mix. You can do the knickknacks, you can do the tables. You can hold on and grab things. It does, it grabs it. Because it's your hands. Slide and dust. That's how you grab your dirt. Grab it. Pledge, grab it, mix. Get ready to experience the terror of Panic Room. Rolling Stone raves. It will make you jump out of your seat. Judy Foster is terrific. It's one of the best films you'll see all year. Panic Room. Rated R. Now playing. You want the very best for your best friends. Proper nutrition, regular exercise. And when it comes to monthly heartworm, you can forget it. <laughs> now there's Pro Heart 6. Just one dose from your veterinarian protects against heartworm disease for six months. Use with caution in sick, debilitated, or underweight animals. Side effects may include mild swelling or itching at the injection site. Forget monthly heartworm. Remember Pro Heart 6, the six months preventative only from your veterinarian. Yes, tonight, three young men will enter the Top Gun training program at Tyndall Air Force Base. For the first time on television, witness their extraordinary stories in a new series. Right, 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 right. Who will fail and who is bound for glory? From the directors of Top Gun and Black Hawk Down comes the series American Fighter Pilot, launching CBS tonight. It's a full service show, Dave! Dave! Dave. Dave is your friend. The first name, Dave. <laughs> in late night television. Your name comes up all the time. Fresh waffles from Thomas's. Fresh waffles in the bread aisle. New Thomas's waffles with a fresh homemade taste. Crispy, soft. In taste test, Thomas's fresh waffles beat frozen by four to one. Please don't freeze. Thomas's. Buying a car should be simple. In Merrillville, it just got simpler. Visit our newest Chicago area CarMax or search over 12,000 cars at CarMax.com and see actual prices and photos. There should be an easy way to sell your car. We'll buy your car even if you don't buy ours. You should get a used car you can trust. CarMax thoroughly reconditions every used car we sell, and only the best ones make our lot. Now open across from South Lake Mall. CarMax, the way car buying should be. Everyone loves an English accent. Introducing the English Manor Collection of area rugs from Karistan. PD and Rug brings you the English Manor Collection with savings of 40%, plus take an additional 10% off during our introductory event. The English Manor Collection is inspired by classic designs and adds a relaxed elegance to everyday living. Now's the time to bring the warmth and beauty of English Manor area rugs to your home. Now on sale at PD and Rug. Catch the smash hit comedy the New York Times calls genuinely funny. Baby Bob, CBS Monday. This isn't Carly. You wouldn't be that cruel. 
If she died alone, a world away from everyone she loved, I would... I would have felt it. I would have known. I've loved her for too long. I'd know. God, please, let me be right. Minded fool, stealing from the dead, are you, huh? It's against the law, my friend. Besides, they take all the valuables at the spa. Don't desecrate the dead. No touch. Be Hey, 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 get back here. Just what I always wanted. Somebody thinking that I'm your mother. Don't listen to some punk delivery. Who else do you can think that I am? I mean, I'm too old to be anybody else. Oh. Well, you gotta stop looking at that locket. I can't help it. I mean, Libby. Oh, just a few years ago, she was a young, beautiful girl. Well, now she's on her last legs, and oh, how long before this happens to me? Are we going to get you help, okay? The kind of help your friend Libby didn't have. Oh, some miracle doctor, some wonderful cure. I'm, I'm a medical freak show here. You think some dermatologist is going to win the lottery and uh, before my time is up? I just wanted to do so much before I die. Hey, 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 no, 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 stop. You're going to have... You're going to have plenty of time to do those things, and, and, and whatever you want to do, and I refuse to accept any other possibility. Don't you be sad. I'm not. I don't need I'm you to be sad. sad. It makes it I'm worse for me. I'm not sad. I'm trying to keep you from being sad, sweetheart. Fine. I'm thinking of, I'm being very positive here. I'm thinking on the, the good end. What good end? Well, I, I'm, I'm getting close to retirement, that means, right? I'm going to get a gold watch out of it, maybe? And then, uh, you know, maybe I'll, I don't have time to enjoy it. I won't have kids or a husband, but that would be the pits. I'm going to be alone. That's better off. No, you're not alone, Rose. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Would you go? Please. No. Not on your life. You have a big smile. Oh. Her smile can light up the universe. Thank you, Mr. Wolfson. Her, please. You know, I like your angle on exercise. Really? I like all your angles. If you're free after this uh, quiet club, I know. Actually, you know what? We should meet at the gym. We'll do a couple laps, and then we'll have a breakfast meeting. It'll be fun. Call Dahlia and set it up. Miss Fraser. Mrs. Mr. Wilson comes looking for me. Just tell him that I got food poisoning or something. Where's Uncle Simon? Um, he's at home, sulking, hating me. No, he doesn't hate you. What's wrong? He, he didn't want to get dressed up? Unfortunately, it's a little more complicated than that. This is the most important night of your life. And the man you adore isn't here. Take your phone. Call your husband. Oh, I Katie, know. I need a moment. Oh, no, what now? What is it? Oh, how would you like to feast your eyes on a thing of true beauty? What is it? Just a few faxes. Some of the early sales reports. They can't keep the video on the show. Let's hear it for the butt buster and all these hard-working guys. The best in the business. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, everyone. And to my boys, I couldn't have done it without you. All right. Thank you. Listen, uh, listen to this one, actually. Katie Fraser. For all your hard work in the fitness industry and charitable donations to the New York Fire Department, the New York Sports Club has officially begun a butt-busting class in your honor. You're kidding me. We did it! <laughs> that is so amazing. This, this has got to be, like, the best night of your life. It is, definitely. It's just... Ugh, you know what they say. I guess it's true. What? Success is nothing without someone to share it with. This time is just a phone call away. No, he's not. He's right here. <clears throat> I knew he wouldn't miss this. Hey, 
So what's going on? It's, this is so amazing. It's the best night of my life, and it's even better now that you're here. So why didn't you say that to me when you called earlier? When I called? I didn't call you. When you called earlier, I heard party noise in the background. You and Dahlia were... Were... What were we doing? I didn't... What did I say? I'm to think of it. Dahlia was doing most of the talking. Hello, Dolly. Oh, glad you could join us, Simon. Oh, yeah, keep pushing me. Keep pushing me. You'll get a reaction that you never bargained for. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Simon. Just stay away from me. I swear to God, you will be very sorry. Make a wish and watch the signs of aging fade. Rock Skin Refining Treatment. A daily moisturizer with pure retinol and vitamin E visibly reduces fine lines, smooths texture, and even skin tone, increasing radiance by 66% in three weeks. Look forward to another beautiful year with skin refining treatment from Rock. We keep our promises. They look up to you. Part of you, what you want to see in them. It's up to you. So share something good with them. Chiquita, perfect for life. My mom calls me Bandari, which means little monkey. We like to cuddle and like watch chick flicks together. It's simple things, but we make it fun. My mom definitely thinks skincare is important. So I told her about Dove. Besides doing what it's supposed to do, it did extra. It moisturized the skin, it took care of it. It's not just deodorant. Dove combines strong protection with one quarter moisturizer. It's the antiperspirant that really gets skin. For 19 years, I've been getting advice, so it's cool that I could finally give advice to her. Every day, millions of people in the United States wake up to billions of allergens. Introducing Clarinex. Clarinex provides receptor protection to help block histamine. Clarinex gives you 24-hour non-drowsy relief for any allergy, anywhere, anytime. Side effects are similar to sugar pill, including sore throat, dry mouth, and fatigue. Talk to your doctor about new 24-hour Clarinex. Think Pine Sol and Lysol clean the same? Think again, honey, because Lysol has a <clears throat> watered-down formula. So to get the cleaning power of this one bottle of Pine Sol cleaner, you'd have to buy three whole bottles of this lemon Lysol. Bye-bye. Choose the cleaning power of Pine Sol. This spring, don't miss the movie critics are calling Disney magic at its best. He wants to see his daddy do something nobody believed he could do. One of the best family films in years. Bring the heat. Quaid, the Rookie, rated G, now playing. CBS Tonight, these real-life pilots will sacrifice. It's hard to explain to a three-year-old why that's gone. They'll suffer. I've never felt that rotten. And they'll be your heroes. When you have a baby, all your priorities change. It does kind of give you more to fight for. From the directors of Top Gun and Black Hawk Down, comes the new series, American Fighter Pilot. Then, an NBA ruling so controversial, it sends a kid to the Supreme Court. They're going to throw the doors open for high school dropouts. First Monday after the premiere of American Fighter Pilot, CBS Tonight. More of the same, you get a chance. Thanks. I got it, Vivian. Okay. You gotta slow down there, mate. Last time you were drinking this hard, you turned the Walsh estate into a drive-thru. Oh, yeah, good times. Please tell me you're not looking to settle any scores tonight. Only one. <laughs> Shouldn't you be with your wife? Yeah, yeah, I should, should. You know, some things just don't work out the way they should sometimes. You're telling me. Yeah, exactly. Take you, for example. You've got a beautiful girlfriend, but you're always fighting with her. Bonnie and I don't fight anymore. Since when? Since she left the country. I rest my case. No more for him. Okay. Hey. What's wrong now? Every time I turn around, someone else is bringing up Bonnie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what should I do? Go to Scotland. Tell her you love her. 
See, that, that, that question there was rhetorical. Come on, man. People are asking about Bonnie because they like her. They like the two of you together. Well, then they're crazy because she is a big pain in the underground, I know. But she's funny. She's irreverent. She's got a good heart, man. People see that. I see that. Now you tell me after you chased her away. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, you are not going to put that on me, my brother. You did that. Yes, and he also fired Billy. And that's... Billy looked up to him, thought he was his friend. Isn't that a shame? Yeah. Thank you again, Lisa. Okay, bartenders and waitresses, they come and they go. Forgive me for not wanting to put my life on hold to fly across the Atlantic for a woman who can't even get her head on straight. You want to get mad at somebody? Get mad at Simon. He won't even walk 20 feet to say hello to his wife. And he's drinking. Guest of honor, please. I want you to stand right here. I'm going to be making a presentation, and I'm going to be speaking straight from my heart, so I want you to hear every word. Oh, no. No need for speeches tonight. Hello. Dahlia. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you. I'm Dahlia Ventura. I want to thank you for your attention and for joining Crimson Dahlia Productions in the kickoff of our newest and most popular video, Katie Frazier's Butt Bustin' Workout. Yeah. <laughs> now that it's taking the country by wildfire, it's time for me to say goodbye. <laughs> That's right. Most of you probably don't know this yet, but um, tonight is going to be my last night in this wonderful little town. I wish I could stay, but um, I've actually written uh, a little something to illustrate just how much Katie has meant to me. I hope that you'll indulge me. <clears throat> Here's to the woman who makes dreams come true, who made me believe in miracles. I thought I had so much to teach her, but I had so much to learn. She's taught me what it means to give, to risk, to succeed, and to live. I look at her and I see the future, a long, happy future filled with memories we'll cherish forever. Here's to the one who made it happen. I don't want you here. I can't do this. So what are you going to do? You're going to get somebody over here to kick me out? Go ahead. You be sure to tell them that you want me gone because I'm crazy about you. Have them drag me out of here, but you better tell them they're going to have to do it again and again and again because I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep coming back. Sweetheart, do you know what I did when you were gone? I told whoever would listen to me that no matter what happened to you, I'd handle it. I'd take care of you. And that if you were sick, I would nurse you back to health. If you were, if you were afraid, I would make sure that you felt safe. You can't, you can't do that. Uh, Nobody can do that. But what are you afraid of? Right, that I'm going to pity you, that I'm going to stick around because I feel guilty? There is, and now's the truth, and now, yes, pity and guilt. I have enough to deal with alone here, thank you. Nobody knows what's going to happen to them. The only thing I know that will last forever is the way I feel about you. Yeah, now. What about when my teeth start falling out? I'll puree your food. Oh, come on. What about the next pizza guy who calls me your grandmother? You won't get a tip from me. Oh, God, this is the reality. This is going to happen. Someday I'm going to have to pick up my support hose and look at the things that are going to happen to me, all the surprises for this fantastic body. I can't have a witness for that. I'm so sorry. Too bad. I know this, how this ends. You get ex you tell me I'm breaking your heart. I'm no, hurting no, no. I'm telling you I love you, Rose. Love you. Where have you been? Chasing down that idiot grave digger. Mm. Just trying to teach him a lesson, and he ran off. I don't trust that one. He's up to something. Uh, he's harmless. Leave him be. Mm. Let's go. I don't want to be late. Well, what are you standing around for? Get in the truck.
you put tasty cream smack dab in the middle of two Chips Ahoy cookies, some pretty amazing things happen. New Chips Ahoy cream witches. Hey, he bit me! Well, now, let's see. This little piggy went to market. Oh, wait, no, uh, that little piggy stayed home. That little piggy has roast beef. Now, which of you fellas had none? I had none. The Little Piggy's nursery rhyme comes to life in the Wee Little Piggies game. Little piggy went to market. Kids have to remember which piggy is which to pick up the pigs in the order of the rhyme. Anybody see a pig going wee, wee, wee? Wee Little Piggies, another classic nursery rhyme game from Milton Bradley. I'll figure this out. Just give me a second. Bonnie's toothpaste stopped fighting plaque before her first cup of coffee. Clark's won't make it past his donut. You see, most toothpaste can't fight plaque after you eat or drink, when teeth become more vulnerable to bacteria. But Colgate Total is different. Its patented combination of ingredients attach the teeth to protect for 12 hours, even after eating and drinking. Isn't it nice to know you use Colgate Total? Colgate Total, 12-hour protection. Irregularity can keep you tied up in knots. But you don't need to be irregular. All you need is Colace. With Colace, you get safe, gentle, reliable relief from irregularity. So you can relax and take it easy. Take doctor-recommended Colace for gentle regularity and try Pericolace for fast, overnight relief. into the extraordinary, like a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch. For years, I did it almost every day. But eight weeks ago, I cut down. Now I'm using Naturally Smooth from Jergens. It's the only moisturizer that makes my hair finer, less noticeable. So I shave half as often. Jergens, love your body. A divorced couple fighting like cats and dogs <laughs> over their dogs and cats. They're my babies. This custody fight. I can't make you understand why I'm doing this. Landed Lynn behind bars. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Would you go to jail for your pet? An all new 48 hours tonight. From your own home, watch the daytime Emmys in style. For a chance to win a big screen TV and more, catch As the World Turns next week and enter at SoapCity.com. This isn't just a partnership. This is destiny. This woman changed my life. The first time I saw her, I knew that we would do great things together. She inspires me, makes me want to do better, be better. I know one day down the line when we're both old and gray, Shut up! For God's sake, why didn't you just shut your mouth? I thought you liked my toast, Simon. They are your words, after all. The same words you used to toast my sister on your wedding night? What about the promises that you made to Monique before you murdered her? <laughs> Simon, what are you doing? <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Simon! trying to do to us? Hurting her? You were talking Hurting her. her? I barely even touched her. You Hold keep him away me. from me. What is going on with you? She knows exactly what she's doing. I just came here to stop her. What? what, what what's wrong? I just never thought we'd do that again. No, I'd like to see you trying to stop me. What in God's name compelled me to leave all of this for you? Room service. <sighs> there it is. The smirk, the sneer, the thinly veiled hostility, the self-serving comments, so like our marriage. No, nothing is like our marriage, Bob. But I digress. You know, I can help you here. You want to wrap Hal around your little finger. I can help you win big brownie points. Just help us with this anagram. Even if I believed this anagram garbage, even if I believed that Hal and John deigned to give you the time of day, there is no way in hell that I would tell you what I do or do not know. You are a liar and a thief, and whatever it is you're after, you will not get it from me. I want Carly safe from Dr. Weston. Carly loves Jack. They belong together, Craig. 
No, they don't. But why not let Carly live long enough to find out who she wants? Better leave before the police get here, Craig. Don't you have anything better to do? No, 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 don't, don't, don't tell me, okay? Don't tell me. You might as well hear this, too. I have some good news and some bad news which can be summed up in one sentence. I know who Dr. Weston is. I'm on my way, Carly. Hang in there, baby, just a little while longer. There is a rhythm.